Addison said he'd find the power grid in the basement. Why do bad things always have to happen in basements? Then I hate them TCC. I agree. Nothing I hate more than creepy crawlies. Ooh. You realize creepy crawlies are central to the ecosystem? That, however, can't be good. NH4, NO3, ammonium nitrate? It's a fertilizer bomb. The detonation device creates a detonation wave, turning the ammonium nitrate into gas. Intensifying the explosion. That will destroy the power grid for the entire development. Well, how do we stop it? Maybe I can disable the initial explosive? Or we can run. Whatever we decide to do, we have three minutes. Well, 259, 258, 257, you get the idea. On the way down here, I saw some pesticide ticks. Pesticides are made with ammonium sulfate. If we can mix in enough ammonium sulfate solution with the ammonium nitrate powder, it could slow the reaction. Minimizing the explosion. Or we can run. 245, 244, oh, come on. 240. I'm having trouble disconnecting the primer. It's hard to determine if it's a movement or pressure switch. Should I point out that we only have... No! Will it be enough ammonium sulfate solution? I don't know. Well, we're about to find out. Time to run? Yes! yes. Go, go, go! It worked! Amazing vlogs! Take that, cookie crawlies! Go us! Go us! Go us! No one can resist my delicious gelatin treats. I might have to do my chip chip hurry every Friday. From the side of this crowd? Wait! Everything's going according to plan. Maddie's going to take the green gummy bait for sure. ourselves a gummy bear hog. You know, Randy, it'd be polite to leave some of Adrian's gummies for the other customers. Just saying. Who are you, Evergreen? The gummy bear police? <laughs> That's cute. Now don't make me ask you again. Randy, you should try some of my famous honey beads made with drops of honey, gold olive oil, and agar agar. So nice they named it twice. Wow, talk about a great disguise. Yeah, but not great enough to fool her little sister. Welcome to Cafe Adams. The midship was a wise choice. <laughs> and feel free to load up on toppings. Hey, you told me I couldn't. Chatting with the customer, Randy. Where was I? I myself am a chocolate sprinkles crushed penis kind of gal. What kind of person are you? A person who's leaving. Bye now. It's working. She can run, but she can't hide. pretty well. Simon! Mr. Temple. 
cool board. Thanks. I just wanted to let you know I'm a big fan. I've been following you since, well, forever. <laughs> That's sweet. Uh, I I'm a little busy right now. Actually, I was about to fire my assistant. Just messing with you, dude. Oh, hey, good luck on your audition. Oh, your routine, it's nice. Nice? Nice? When the school nurse came back, that might have been our last chance to get answers from Grady. And I didn't even get to question him about Maddie. Well, he did drop that weird bomb about Eli being some kind of fraud. What do you think that was about? Guys, Grady wasn't lying about Eli. What? Look, as you guys know, I've been an elite mega fan forever. She's broken down and dissected every one of their songs, over and over, and I always thought I detected a mysterious frequency in their music, but I just thought it was their thing. Anyways, listen to this. Sounds I awesome. I love it worked. What are we looking at? It worked in music production software. I can filter it and separate the tracks. Now let me isolate the frequency spike. Now listen again. Ugh, sounds terrible. Okay. Now, listen again. Totally better. Whoa, crazy whoa. It's the biggest OMGCs in the history of OMGCs. There's a hidden sound enhancement in Elite's music. An ultrasound tone was laid in as a secret track. Okay, I may be smart, but when it comes to music, you lost me. Basically, Eli's music and his whole sound isn't great. It's barely even average, but he found a way to make us think it's good. I can't believe I didn't find the secret tone before. I mean, I did find it, but I told myself that it was just a part of Eli's genius. Turns out it's a part of his evil genius. My love for Elite clouded my judgment. <sighs> Not that I'm saying that's true for you and Maddie. I found something! What do you have? It's a video of Eli in high school before Elite was even formed! <sighs> Welcome to my grandma's garage science. My latest project is in the field of subliminal sound enhancement using sound frequencies to improve your listening experience. <laughs> That's Eli? Looks like he's always been into this kind of thing, even back in his grandma's garage. So now that we know Eli's found a way to change how his music sounds, and that 3T minerals are used in making electronic devices, Eli could be building his own equipment using the stolen 3Ts, meaning we have a new suspect but he's always on stage during the concerts, which is right where Brian and I will be. We can shadow Eli. Adri, Amber, and I will be at the warehouse by the docks. We're gonna get some answers tonight. Looking for us, Retro? Welcome, hackers. Sorry I couldn't be there to greet you in person, but I'm thrilled you could drop in. Well, that took an unexpected turn. You've got to be kidding me. Another trash dump? Oh. I mean, on the bright side, at least you're not wearing your meow meows. This can't be good. The walls are closing in. Guys, I have this horrible feeling that we've been looking at Retro's plan all wrong. He never wanted the hackers to join him. He wanted to eliminate them. No competition, no one to stop him. He only becomes more powerful. By turning us into bananas. BTS! Things are getting worse and worse by the second! We have to find something to help us get out of here. I found some rope. Now we just need something sharp and spiky to use this grappling hook. I had to be the hacker with the levels. Come on! Give it to us! Fine! It's for a good cause. Get to live. Hurry! Faster! Come on. Find something else. It's my dad. If I don't 
think I could be worried. He should be asking for a letter! Hi, Dad! Just here at the library, not doing anything crazy. Just regular, normal kids studying. Uh, Dad, you're an engineer. Quick question. Let's say you found a piece of rebarb. Would it be able to, say, pierce the walls of an industrial trash compactor? Dad? I lost connection. Hey, here's another question you could have asked. Can you come and save us? Hello, the quail said to keep our cover. Guys, if we survive this, we can discuss the nuances of that rule. Cam, I think I see where you were going with your dad. Based on the size of this trash compactor, the hydraulic pump should be beneath the floor. If we use the rebar to puncture the walls, it could pierce the hose and the hydraulic system will lose pressure. Exactly, making the walls stop. We are so smart. If it ends like this, at least we can say we crushed it. Before we were crushed. If we survive this, I have got to know what your shampoo is. Your hair smells amazing. Are you guys squished? I'm not squished. Go us! Go us! Go us! Okay, now let's get out of here before. Ah. Oh, that happens. <laughs> We gotta get in contact with the quail immediately. Retro's plan to eliminate the hackers means he's really up the stakes. I'm not getting any service. Are you guys? Me neither. No bars on my phone. We're having a blackout. Retro's shutting down the entire grid. Which means no cell, which means no Insta, no Twitter, no Snapchat. No internet! Oh. 